One thing I quite often get asked about is color matching. And I'm sure every one of you who owns a boat has dinged some gel coat and would like to turn around and uh, repair it. Well, technology is moving around that we don't have to go and send a chunk of your boat out to a lab somewhere or have a $50,000 device that you see either in Home Depot or somewhere else that can check for color. So what this was little meter called the Nix was, uh, was invented by a young man who's down in Hamilton and he got a research grant. And this is, a, I call it a low cost, semi-accurate way of getting some sort of reference on what's going on with your color of your boat. So let's take, I brought along some blue chips here and they're of different variations. So what we can do here is we can scan this and you see it's picked up the reading off this chip, but also it gives you at the bottom the actual RGB numbers or CYMK. You can actually go to your computer and play with these and discover that this is what the formula is. So again, uh, this is new. We're not too sure about how to actually shift all the colors, but let's do another one. And if you check the numbers again, you'll see that we get a different set of numbers and it gives you a reference. So if you've had someone color match your boat and you know, usually the colors can shift a little bit with time, or whatever, and you'd like to make sure that you're, you've got the best accurate match. This gives you a good way to sort of play with color matching. So um, they're worth about $400. Again, probably not something everyone's going to handle, but all you need is an app. We have been considering on renting them out. Uh, I've been using that personally for um, uh, matches using black and white and I found it quite good in that respect because I can see the shift and you can see the numbers come up and the numbers come down. So I can put this on a, say something that's gray and I know whether I'm too white or too gray. This has been, it's a real benefit now to have a tool like that that can do that. And so it's given us a real opportunity to now to add a little bit of science rather than you know, a little bit of black art, look at it and say, yeah, it's pretty good. In the art of color matching, something I'd like to bring up to you is if you ever have a color chip or want to check it against your boat, usually try and do it between that time of two, um, 10 o'clock in the morning and two in the afternoon and hopefully when you've got just a light cloud overcast and you don't have anything close to you like a red boat and you've got a white because you will pick up a bit of a cast off of that boat. Um, you can also, we have a color match kit too that I'll uh, bring out later. And we've got, we're developing charts that will have different colors and right now we've got a white one, and this covers about 90% of most boats. So you can say, okay, white will usually have a little bit of black in it, a little bit of iron oxide, a little bit of uh, reddish brown, and possibly some black. These four colors, oh yellow, I forgot about that, will shift that color around. In the black range, or what we call black to gray, there's a bit of blue and a bit of yellow. So what we do is we give you a little bit of blue, uh, some white and black. You try to get it close and then you'll see an after tint that comes along. Either you're shading blue or you're shading yellow. Uh, in the works, we have a blue kit coming. These were some of the chips that are used to develop that. And we've got a yellow, a green, and I believe I've got the red one done but they're not official for release because I, I usually want to test them out a little bit and let everybody and get some feedback as to how well it worked. The, thing, the difficult thing with this is to get that human interface where I can pick 50 people like 
uh, you guys that have come tonight, and have you use something, go back and get some good results that you're happy with. And you can say, yep, that worked good. You know, it was money well spent, rather than something that just has a whole mess of jars of, of color pigment, and then you try and guess at what it is. So we try to guide you along in that range, because I've spent a lot of time answering questions about that.